In this tutorial video, we're going to walk through how to create high quality plots in Python. So I'm going to go File, uh, create a new uh, file just here, Notepad++, um, and I'm going to call this Python Plot. .py. Okay, just to create a new Python uh, plot here. And then the first thing I want to do is import NumPy so that we can generate a little bit of data be able to be able to plot. So um, I can go from uh, NumPy import um, all like that, and uh, then I can use things like x equals lin space. Um, let's say I want to go from 0 to 6 with 100 points and then y equals uh, let's say sine of x and then z equals cosine of x. Now this um, you can do it this way or uh, one way that I uh, like as well is to do um, uh, import numpy as uh, np and then all you have to do is put the np dot lin space. Okay and that makes it a little bit more object oriented uh, be able to see some of the uh, results. So I can run this right now and it'll generate X, Y, and Z. Um, and now I want to be able to plot this. So uh, the thing that I'll need to do is um, import uh, matplotlib.pyplot. Uh, okay, that's going to be the package that we're going to use um, as, and I'll just call it PLT. Um, again, I could have also done from uh, matplotlib.pyplot um, plot um, import all which is the uh, this is the wildcard meaning all um, and then you can use these without the uh, PLT in front of it kind of like we did with the NP okay but I'm not going to use uh, that approach okay so now I want to do PLT dot and then I'll use the plot command and then let's do X and Y and then let me also add uh, the other one which is X and Z okay so I'm gonna save this and uh, let me actually just open it up in uh, ideally editor um, instead okay and then I can just run it uh, from the ideally editor just click run or F5 and uh, this is um, okay so it says that sign is not defined so let's go back to our uh, our plot thing here and uh, I think this is um, import uh, math as I'll just do M okay let me just see if it's M if that is a correct one I might have to go Google this just to check, okay, that is, um, ooh, that's not good either. Let me try the NumPy uh, sign. I bet there's a NumPy sign in there. And cosine, and run. Okay, so it generated the plots. The other thing that I didn't do is I have to show it. Okay, show the plot. So I'll do PLT show, and save that, run it one more time and then it will show um, the plot. Okay, so there's the sine and the cosine um, plotted up. Now, um, let me also modify these a little bit because that plot was great, but um, we want to make it um, easy to be able to read. We want to um, also add some legends as well. Okay, so let me add a legend. Um, and I'll just say this is Y and Z. Okay, so I just put that in as a, a legend and then let me do an X label as well. And I'll put this in as X. Okay, X label and then Y label. I'll just say that's values. Okay, and run it one more time. So I'll ask you to save, just go ahead and click yes. Okay, so we have a uh, legend, as you can see, with Y and Z. We can see the X value down here, and then values. Okay, one other thing we might want to do um, to this as well is make it easy for uh, to be able to see this in black and white. Okay, so I'm going to add, for example, make this a red uh, dashed line, and maybe this one a black um, uh, dotted line. Okay. 
Um, I'll run that one more time just to be able to see this. Okay, so you can see that it's easier to be able to see, you know, if you had somebody that, um, you know, needed black and white, um, you know, that they would be able to, they'd be able to see this a little bit easier. Okay, so um, let's change a couple other things about this uh, plot as well. Uh, maybe we don't like how thin those lines are, so I'm going to change the line width. Um, I'll change that to a 3 for this one, and maybe a line width of 2. Okay, so again, just modifying the plot, modifying these um, lines, make it just a little bit easier. Let's say I want the, I only want to show between 0 and 3. Um, and maybe the for the X and then the Y and Z, maybe I want to not have it come right to the edge right there. Give it just a little bit uh, more space. Okay, so then um, I can do PLT X limit. Okay, and then I'll do zero to three, and then let's do Y limit as well. And let's say we want negative 1.5 to 1.5. Okay, I'll just go ahead and save that. Um, I'll just run it. And it'll ask me to save. Okay, so syntax error. Let's see. Oh, you know what? I think I need to, um, in this case, I think I need to put a comma in here for these different arrays. Run it one more time. Okay, so there's my plot. Okay, with the different X and Y limits. Okay, so um, I'll go ahead and just post this um, example online. Um, oh, and one other thing I was going to mention uh, about this is that um, a lot of times we want to be able to save these figures um, and uh, be able to put them into a presentation or uh, you know into a uh, you know a journal something like that. So you can also do um, save as okay, and then uh, my figure.png for example. Um, let's say you want to save it as an EPS as well. Um, this is very lossless. It makes a high quality uh, image, especially in uh, LaTeX. Um, okay, let's see. Save as, maybe it's save fig. Let's try that instead. Okay, I'm going to have to go check at that out. Okay, there it is. It's save fig instead of save as. Okay, um, and then I have a PNG file here. And um, let me go ahead and just open with, um, yeah, I can open with photos, for example, just look at that. Um, it's saved as a PNG. That's good for maybe inserting it into a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, the EPS, I don't even know if this is going to open, if there's a uh, program that will open it here. Um, yeah, it looks like Windows doesn't have a default one, but I normally use Adobe or something like that. Uh, this EPS is going to be um, lossless in terms of the uh, fonts and other things for paper. So this one's a really good one if you want to insert it into a uh, conference publication. This uh, PNG is really good if you just want to insert it into a um, uh, PowerPoint or presentation. Okay, so that's it for uh, generating these plots. Um, just remember um, how they're going to look in black and white. You know, adjust the margins. Um, these numbers right here can be uh, very important. You know, you want to make it uh, the kind of the overall size of those numbers, make it very readable. Um, you can also come down here and save the figure um, as a couple different formats as well. Okay, so that concludes this tutorial on making uh, plots in Python.